Okay. Speaking of North Korea, some people say that, uh, you know, I've read that uh, comedy is about timing. Well, first of all, do you agree? And yes. second of all, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. It's no, very just much the, the you saying yes. Oh, yeah, that yeah, time, yeah. yeah, it's funny. Okay, isn't it? T comedy is tragedy plus timing. Isn't that the? Isn't that the full mm -hmm. reference? What is it? The interrupting cow knock knock joke. I'm not going to do it, but uh, that's not a timing thing. It's more of a, a repetition and then the twist ending. No, the moo. Oh, the moo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Interrupting cow. Are you thinking of the banana, the banana one? Anyway, uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm not going there. Yet <laughs> you're you talking to <laughs> in my you're own head. Good lord! Oh, yeah, are you small wonder? Do you stand sleeping in a wardrobe? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's so British. But yet you're very. I don't want to say in a closet because that has connotations. Let's let's both come out of the closet for a second. <laughs> I love and you. And let's talk about <laughs> I love you, Lex. Uh, I wasn't saying I love you, Alex. I was saying I love you, Lex. <laughs> oh, you were talking to me. Yes, that's through so, the screen. So when you, so you think about me when you're with a, with another man. I watch you when you're sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like you're the on, Dangle song. Eternal you're Flame. really active on Twitter. Yeah, uh, and somebody else asked on your uh, overly expensive membership site. Uh, what my I, grift site. <laughs> How do you find uh, humor different in writing on Twitter versus spoken humor? So if-, if Oh, that's if, a great question. If humor is about timing, how do you capture the timing and the brilliance of the, whatever is underlying humor in the context of Twitter? Like another way to say it is, uh, well, how do you be f funny and yet thoughtful on Twitter? So, with Twitter, you have to be the first one to the punchline. So when Ron Paul had his stroke, I was immediately being like, he's still the most articulate libertarian. He's doing a great Joe Biden impression right now. All the libertarians got ass mad. That's, and people are like, too soon. Or like when someone dies, you're making the jokes about them. It's like, when do you want to make the jokes about someone just died a week right. later? It doesn't make any sense. Now you too might- Too soon is perfect timing. Or you could say it's not appropriate ever, but too soon does not make sense in this context. Um, so that is something that I uh, enjoy doing. It's also fun ruffling people's feathers, which is something I enjoy doing. I think uh, spoken versus writing is very different because when you are having good banter with someone, uh, for me as the audience, knowing that it is on the spot really adds an element of humor because then it's like, wow, this is fun. It's like a ping pong match or something. Whereas in writing, it's you're losing the tone, you're losing the relationship of a, a dynamic conversation. Um, and a lot of times the joke is just gonna be a different type of joke. Well, it's funny, but Twitter, there's a sense, especially your Twitter, that you're, you just thought of that and you just wrote it. Yes. Like there's, is a, there's a feeling like it's literally you talking as opposed to, what I imagine is there's some editing, or it doesn't look like it. No. Whoever your editor is should be fired. <laughs> <laughs> it, there's an interesting effect, actually. If I want to say something, I don't know about uh, about the something that's bothering me about the presidential election, or something like that. Like, what are what is the actual central idea that I'm trying to convey to myself? Like, if say I was having a hypothetically conversation with myself. Okay. <laughs> What? No, in, I'm not going my there. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I putting my pants back on? I'm more comfortable this way. <laughs> Promo code malice20, sheathunderwear.com. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, that's sheath. Uh, what is it? What's the website? Sheathunderwear.com. Sheathunderwear.com. Promo code malice20. And I forgot, why is that underwear really nice? Because it has a dual pouch technology to keep your man parts separate. They've also got woman stuff, but I don't know how that works. Yeah. There's a thing where it's going somewhere. And the material is really refreshing. I mean, it's really a game And it makes your ass look good. That's promo code MALICE20. And it's made by a, it's made by a former vet because he was in Iraq. So that's why I like promoting it. Yeah. But when I'm writing the, the, the tweet, I, I like to it forces me to think deeply about the core of the message. Okay. 
But what I found this really interesting effect, like I don't really do much editing on the tweet. Like I'll just like think and then I'll write it. And then when I post it, like submit, like I immediately see the tweet very differently than it was in my mind. Huh. I, I often delete, like I delete, I don't know, some percentage of tweets about like two, five seconds after. Wow. Okay. I don't know, it's something, well, you, once you send it, it's why the Gmail send features, uh, undo send features yeah. really nice. It's like, it just changes the way I see the thing. So it's it, very interesting. It's, uh, but I really love it that you can delete it because when I say stuff out in the wild, like to other humans, like other sp humans. spoken <laughs> <laughs> spoken word is like, you can't delete what you just said. Yeah. And I often regret the things I say, like in, in on the spot, like I shouldn't have said that. Really? Yeah. I don't have that. <laughs> well, again, whoever your editor is, what is it? Uh, Edith Piaf, uh, Je ne regrette rien. Wow, your French is as bad as your English. Um, I don't have any tweets I regret because if I sent a tweet that I regretted, I would make amends. I would make it a point if I was a f needlessly offensive to somebody or hurtful or accidentally, I would make sure to fix it and and go out of my way to make sure that person feels vindicated and validated by accepting my apology. That has never happened, had to happen, thankfully. I'm also someone who is not big on taking the bait. Uh, uh, you know, some recently some people have come after me pretty hard and my perspective is that it's not really about me. It's either I represent something to them I'm just some jackass with a Twitter. So if you're getting this riled up over me, it's not really about me. Maybe I'm delusional, but that's how I look at it. So if they are trying to provoke me into this kind of heated exchange, I will never do it uh, because that's not, I'm not interested in it. And it's, I don't think there's going to be any, it's like Jeanette Rankin, you, you can't win. It's just going to be like trying to win a hurricane. There's, there's no hero here.